I used to talk about personal brands when I would talk about building a network, and then I decided that that sounds icky. And we're not all, we're not personal brands, and we're not gonna go out and, you know, and, and um, there was this funny TV show, Entourage, once, where they were all talking about personal brand, and it was a really funny episode, and I kinda at the end of that, I said, I'm never gonna say the words personal brand again. And here I've broken it, but only to say I find that icky. But um, there is something, if, if you think about what does a brand really mean, a brand is a promise of consistency, right? If I say Starbucks, you guys, in your mind immediately, you know what the logo looks like, you kind of know what the inside of the place looks like, the food is going to be consistent, even the barista is going to have sort of, there's going to be a certain style and attitude, the music, you kind of know what that's going to be, and all over the world, you know, you'll be in, you know, Edinburgh, Scotland, and you'll see a Starbucks, and you know if you go into that Starbucks, you're going to have a certain experience. So if you think about brands as, as consistency, I think that's a really good way to think about brands and branding. And when you think about your own personal brand, even though I hate those words, think about consistency. When you present a consistent image and response and attitude to people, people learn who you are and they learn what to expect from you. And I think that's very helpful in, in building your network because it means over time people can develop a sort of a shorthand about how to deal with you. For example, with me, I'm very responsive, and I believe in being responsive. And people know that if they email me something, I'm either going to get it done or I'm going to tell them why I can't get it done. I'm very short with my communications, generally. Sometimes I'm a little wordy, but for the most part, I try to be very to the point. I try to be respectful. I try to be, and I try, I'm very um, consistent in my like if you, if you listen to me talk here and then you follow me to London and you go to the board of this big company I'm on with all these British guys and you listen to me talk there, I'm very consistent. I have the same personality. I don't try to be something different. Part of it I actually think is because the more consistent you are over time, the more you will, you will find the, the sinking into the things that you actually are best at doing because you're, I liken it to, if, if you're going to try to be someone you're not, it's like if you've ever gone, you know, I speak German very badly, and when I go to Germany and I try to do business in German all day, I get to the hotel at the end of the day and I've got a headache because trying to be a person who speaks German all day is really hard for me. It's a lot easier to speak English all day. Um, so I, I really think that this, <laughs> you know, this is one of those cases of if I'm consistent and if I'm me and I focus on my strengths, I just do a lot better than if I try to be someone else all day long. And I can, I'm, I can guarantee you guys are all thinking, think about a person who's inconsistent in your life. Think about a person who half the time they schedule something with you and they don't show up or they say they're going to do something and they don't do it. Think about how you feel about that person. Is that a person you're willing to go out of your way to help? Is that a person mm -hmm. that, you know, when you see an email from them, you think right away, okay, I'm going to jump on that and I'm going to do something for that person. So I would just encourage you, if you can be that consistent person, and you can follow through and you will build a reputation over time with the people in your network that you are that person and that you are consistent, I think you will get more help over time.